Speaking of friends, you never, I want to make this clear, if you drink, if you smoke, if you inject things into your eyeballs, you never <laughs> have to worry about strangers. Never push the myth that a stranger might be culpable in getting you fucked up. People say it, and they'll be like, what if a stranger spikes my drink? What if a stranger hands me a joint and it's laced? Guess what? It'll never be a stranger. It'll be one of your friends, okay? <laughs> your friends will fuck you the hardest. <laughs> I know this firsthand. I have a bunch of really cool friends. Um, I found out on this tour that one of my friends was in the same city as I was in on the same night. Very rare in this line of work. I was in Miami. I find this out. I cancel our dinner plans. I drive across town. I walk into this club, and I see my good friend. Some of you know him. He's a comedian and a podcaster. His name is Joey Diaz. Now, Joey's very affectionate. So I get to this place, and he gives me a great big hug. And the first thing he says to me, he goes, I got you something. I go, you got me something. What did you get me? He goes, I know you like your tens, your 10 milli Tom. I got you some tens. And I go, no, you didn't. <laughs> he goes, I did. I go, no, you didn't. He goes, why are you saying that? I go, because you're a liar and you're a bad person. You're lying right now. <laughs> he goes, no, I'm not. I go, sure you are. And he has a jar and he pours five gel caps into his hand. And he goes, these are tens. And I go, bullshit. <laughs> and then he goes, oh. <laughs> Eats all five like they're Skittles. <laughs> so then I go, huh, maybe they are tens. <laughs> I said, I would like one. I put it on my tongue, I take a sip of water. As it goes down, I look at him, he goes, oh! <laughs> I go, how much did I just take? And he goes, 10. And he just walks out of the room. <laughs> now I'm watching him perform, you know, 30 minutes in, I have a buzz. When the show's over, I am out of my goddamn mind. I am vibrating like a tuning fork, all right? I'm like, wow, 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 wow. I can't open my eyes, I'm like. I have to put my hand on a man's shoulder to guide me across the room, I'm like. And I go, Joey, we gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and we do. Do you know where we go? To the airport. Yay! <laughs> Let's have a panic attack in a tube in the sky. <laughs> and I do something I've never done. A flight attendant passes down the aisle, and as she passes, I grab her arm hard. <laughs> like I'm gonna put it on my dick. Like I grab it. <laughs> and she's stunned, so she goes, ah! And I'm so fucked up, I go, wait, how come? Do you know? <laughs> Why are we alive? And she's like, what? What? Now, luckily, I have a decent friend with me, Sean, and he interjects, and he goes, oh, he took an Ambien. And she's like, okay. And she just <laughs> keeps going down the aisle. Now he's worried about me, so he wakes Joey up. He goes, Joey! And Joey's like, what? He goes, what did you give Tom? He goes, I gave him 200 milligrams. <laughs> dipped in hash oil. <laughs> and I go, why did you do that to me? <laughs> he goes, you're gonna see the devil now, bitch. 